Time our other top story tonight is an I-Team exclusive. A judge has thrown out two state ethics complaints against former insurance commissioner and one-time candidate for governor, John Oxendine. Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer. And I'm Christine Spiro. And for Courtney Bryant, the State Ethics Commission believed Oxendine used campaign contributions to buy a house and luxury car and accepted contributions over the legal limit. Yeah, but senior I team reporter Dale Russell, who has covered this case for two years, says an administrative law judge saw it differently. The two rulings handed down this week by administrative law judge Ronit Walker ended two ethics cases that began as early as 2015 against former gubernatorial candidate John Oxendine. John Oxendine was in his 30s when he burst onto the Georgia political scene. He was elected Georgia's insurance commissioner four consecutive terms and then in 2010 ran for governor. Hey there, how are you? But he would finish fourth in the Republican primary. Nathan Deal won the primary race in a runoff and later was elected governor. That run for governor led to the two ethics complaints Oxendine has battled for years. Our contention is that these were not loans, that they were pure conversion of funds to personal assets. In an August 2019 hearing, staff attorney Robert Lane argued Oxendine moved $237,000 over a two-year period from his campaign account to a law firm account. Lane argued 96,000 of that money was used for a down payment on Oxendine's home. The rest, payments for a Mercedes and Jaguar, IRA contributions, and... He made $27,476 worth of payments to the Atlanta Athletic Club, $12,671 in payments to the daycare for his minor child. Loans are permitted under the act, they are investments. Not so fast as Oxendine's attorney, Doug Chalmers. He argued the money was purely a loan from the campaign to the law firm, which he says is legal. And besides, Oxendine paid it back with interest. The campaign got nearly $9,000 of interest through these various loans. Lane countered Oxendine didn't initially mention a loan on his campaign reports and had no intention of paying back his campaign until an Atlanta Journal-Constitution report raised questions and the Ethics Commission sued him. This is Mr. Oxendine saying, trust me, I promise it's a loan. But administrative law judge Walker wrote she was not addressing whether the actual allegations were true or not. Her reason? She dismissed the charge due to the statute of limitations, essentially saying the Ethics Commission took too long to go to trial. Judge Walker also dismissed a second charge alleging Oxendine illegally accepted campaign contributions that exceeded contribution limits from multiple corporations, all linked to the same person. Walker ruled Georgia law states the only people who can be punished in that situation are the campaign donors, not the candidate. Oxendine's attorney Doug Chalmers said, we are pleased with the results, but the head of the State Ethics Commission, David Amati, strongly disagrees with the ruling, telling me he's going to look into all appeals options so that he can, quoting now, hold Mr. Oxendine accountable. Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.